when there was nothing to eat in the house. Should I have gone out to steal for Julie? Yes. The police down there never said that. You beat that <coughs> frail girl. You beat her because she loved you. How could you do that? We argued with each other. She said this, and I said that. And because she was right, I couldn't answer her. And I got mad. And the anger rose up in me. And I beat her. Are you sorry? When I touched your slender throat, then, if you'd like, you might say, Are you sorry? I'm not sorry for anything. Lillian, it will be difficult to help you. I'm not asking any help. You were offered employment as a caretaker. Why didn't you accept it? I'm not a caretaker. I'm no good at caretaking. To be a caretaker, you have to be a caretaker. If I said to you now, Lillian, go back on your stretcher. Tomorrow morning, you'll arise alive and well again. Would you be a caretaker then? No. 
Why not? Because, because that's just why I died. That's not true, my son. You died because you loved little Julie and the child she's bearing under her heart. No. Look me in the eye. No. Oh, if it were not for our heavenly patience, go back to your seat. Number 16,474. Stephanie Kadar. You came out today? Today. How long were you in there? 13 years. Officer, you went to Earth with her? Yes, sir. Stephanie Kadar, after 13 years of purification by fire, you were sent for one day back to Earth to give proof that your soul had been burned clean. What good deed did you perform? When I came to the village and looked in the little window of our cottage, I saw my poor little orphan sleeping peacefully. But it was raining, and the rain beat into the room through a hole in the roof. So I fixed the roof so it wouldn't rain in anymore. My hammering woke them, and they were afraid. But their father came and comforted them. He said to them, don't cry. It's your poor dear mother who's come back from the other world to fix the roof for us. Officer, <laughs> it's true. Stephanie Kadar! You have done a good deed. The door is open to you. The eternal light awaits. <laughs> What's she done anyhow? Anyone can fix a roof. Lilium, you will remain for 16 years in the crimson fire. By that time, your pride, your stubbornness, will have been burnt out of you. And when your daughter... My daughter! Ah! And when your daughter has reached the age of 16, you will be sent for one day back to Earth. Me. Yes, you will be sent for one day to give proof that your soul has been burned clean. And then must show what I can do? Like, when you apply for a job? Yes, it is a test. And will I be told what I have to do? No. How will I know then? You must find that out for yourself. And if you do something good, something splendid for your child, then... <laughs> then? Then! Now, I'll bid you farewell, Lily. Sixteen years and a day shall pass before I see you again. Take heed and think well of some good deed to do for your child. On that will depend which door is open to you up here. Now go, Lily. Come on. Say, officer? Yes? Please, <coughs> could I get? Do you have... What is it? 